show you what you can do with the pizza box after you've finished eating. Hey, box! Thanks for the pizza. I, I especially like the box. My pleasure, old pal. Anchovy and marshmallow is always a winner. Hey, anyone keen to bring the dinosaurs back to life? We can do that with a pizza box and a regular box. But first, let's make a work drawing. Close up and glue the cardboard flaps before you start working on the box. Now let's draw. How would you make a pizza box and a normal box look like a dinosaur? Well, you'll need two large eyes, large nostrils, big teeth, arms, and a stripy tummy. We start with gluing the pizza box and the regular box together. Spread some glue on top of the tall box and place the pizza box in the middle. It's important to press down firmly so the glue is in contact with both boxes. I'll just check that the pizza box opens and closes smoothly. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. Add. And then we prepare and add the other body parts. Start by drawing everything you need on some cardboard with a pencil. The eyes should be large and round, with flaps for glue at the bottom. Next come the arms. One pointing up and one pointing down. the teeth. Make these by drawing a long strip with a ruler and then a zigzag pattern to cut out later. Each triangle will be one tooth. Now grab a thick marker pen and go over all the pencil lines. It's good to sketch with a pencil first. And when you feel you've got it right, use your marker pen to make strong lines. And here are all the parts, cut out and ready. Tidy up the table and get ready to glue. First, we need some flaps for the glue. It's best to fold these around the ruler to get a nice straight line. Like this. Done. Now a dab of glue on one eye. Spread some glue onto the other eye. And place them just where you want them. You can either hold the eyes down until the glue has dried a little, or use a bit of sticky tape to keep them in place. Now for the arms. Same procedure as last time. They'll definitely need one or two pieces of tape or they'll fall off. You can remove the tape when the glue is dry. Now the other arm. Don't forget to check that they are more or less the same height. Continue with the teeth. A dash of glue on each. And stick them on. One by one between the pizza box and the lid. Since 
they are so small and light, they'll stay on. No sticky tape needed. Now, all the pieces are in place. So now we can... Now we can draw up all the details. Let's start by drawing some nostrils on the top, opposite the eyes. Then continue with some stripes on the abdomen. Start drawing scales. A dinosaur is a bit like a giant lizard. So we should make a lizard-like surface all over the body. Yes, now I think it's starting to look good. Hungry for pizza! Of course, it's a pizza-saurus! Paint! And now, it's time to paint it! First, paint with some white inside the eyes. Then continue with white stripes on the tummy. I mean the abdomen. Orange goes really well with the brown cardboard color. So I'm painting a small orange stripe below each of the white stripes. Paint a bit more orange on his hands. Some wavy orange stripes on his face up to the eyes. And even more orange, just a bit around each eye. Here is another dinosaur, completely painted and dry. Oh, look at him, isn't he great? Let's test that the mouth opens. Yeah, it works really great. I'll finish up by cutting out and folding up the nostrils. one more time. First, glue together the boxes and check that the mouth opens. Next, make all the parts and glue them all on. Then, draw on the details and paint the colors and stripes. You can also turn your dino into a dustbin. Cut a big hole in the mouth of the dinosaur. Then cut a double door on the back. Stick on some cardboard knobs so that you can fasten the doors with a rubber band. Then you can throw your scrunched up paper into the mouth and watch it all tumble out again through the door. Box, can you come up with any more ideas? Yeah, Einstein! You can use the same method to make other useful things, such as this cup to hold hot tea. Or this portable drawing board from a pizza box. Oh, what 
about a lizard bread bin. Put the bread in and close the lizard's mouth. I'm really great at this. Hey, want some pizza? Oh. <laughs> Here you go. And always brush your teeth after eating pizza. There are thousands of ways of boxing yourself. Just use your imagination. here all the time, so come back and check out the new stuff.